Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University. As part of this video, I will try to cover how we can actually monitor the performance using Oracle Enterprise Manager. It is a very handy tool and typically developers might not have access, but Oracle Enterprise Manager have concept of roles and if your administrator is knowledgeable enough, he can give um, uh, read-only permissions to Oracle Enterprise Manager which a developer or a tester can uh, look into the issues or even an architect look into the issues and take more educated decisions uh, to, to fix those things. So in this case let's let me go back to the home page or let me log out and I will log in and then I will uh, get the overview of Oracle Enterprise Manager um, uh, how we can leverage it to monitor the performance of our database so system and it is just a primer I will not get into too many details here like AWR reports and all those things but as a developer or an architect or an administrator when you log in uh, you can actually uh, take certain decisions on the live um, uh, insights itself and uh, you can actually come up with the uh, uh, fix for the problem that might be recurring by looking into this. So it, you will be logging into this and if you want to monitor the performance you have to click on the performance tab and as we are talking about the cluster database uh, the performance tab will be showing you the um, uh, at the database level itself on both the nodes in the cluster so you can actually uh, if you want to just watch on one of the instances you can click on these things as we are running uh, as i have been running a lot of queries on only one of the instances which is orcl2 if i want to monitor the performance only on orcl2 i can click on this and it will take to orcl2 but let's uh, look at it uh, um, uh, here so the first thing is cluster host load average so how much load is being uh, uh, there on the uh, on the server this report is uh, uh, actually generated from the command similar to uptime on the linux so i'm logging into the database i'm logging into the server which is hosting the database and if you run uptime you will get the load average so using this information, so there are several commands which will give the load average, uptime is one of them. But uh, what you need to understand is it will use this information to display this uh, trend on the about the load average on the uh, on our cluster. And my cluster is a two node rack and each of them have two CPUs. So it is showing as uh, four uh, CPU cores in my cluster. And then as this is the rack database, there will be global uh, uh, cache um, uh, uh, which will be managed using the interconnect of the uh, uh, private interconnect between the nodes in the cluster. If we go back to the PPT where I have uh, showcased the architecture of uh, uh, Oracle database, you have the database servers, you have the storage and then you have two network switches. One is connected to the storage and the other one is connected uh, uh, between the servers in the cluster. This is called as private interconnect between the nodes in the cluster and this will be used to manage the global cache uh, where if, uh, if the same um, uh, blocks are required uh, um, across the instances in the database. So dot glo global cache plays a role in that. And then active sessions, we'll talk about uh, what are the, uh, uh, how the current active sessions are performing on, uh, on the cluster. And by clicking on top activity, you will actually get more insights about this. And uh, also there is a logic behind the colors. So you can see that green means it is in a healthy state. Irrespective of what you are talking about, green means uh, it is in healthy state. And then uh, I think this is yellow color, which is uh, OK state. This is the color. And this is warning state. OK. And if it is red, that means it's in a danger state. And in this case, uh, even these weight events, uh, even though um, 
uh, it shows green so as long as the cpu um, is uh, green and uh, as long as load uh, so cpu so each of the colors in this uh, dashboard or report represents a certain thing so green means cpu and light green means weights on cpu so as long as cpu is more uh, without much of cpu weight you are good to go but if the cpu weight takes over the cpu then that means there is a problem uh, on your database and then uh, this one rng is for commit so each of these colors represent a weight event which is explained here so all the all the weight events that are so all the events that are displayed here are um, happening in this range of time starting from 12 24 pm to 124 pm now for last one hour the database have encountered all these uh, things so if you want to get into more details for a given time frame you can click on top activity and uh, it will take you to this page again this is at the cluster level if you want to change it to uh, a, a single instance you should have clicked on the uh, corresponding instance and come to this but now we will see at cluster level and we will see at the instance level in a moment. So if you want to see weight events for a particular point in time, you can just hold it and drag it to the time. And it will show all the queries that are running at the, at the time. And you can see that the query with this SQL ID is, is the one which is actually uh, keeping the database busy. Whatever uh, uh, what uh, whatever uh, uh, the activity that is going on on the database at that time 96.5 percent activity is happening only because of this insert statement this does not mean that the cluster is 96.5 percent busy this means that whatever activity is going on at that time even if it is 10 percent of the database capacity uh, 96.5 percent of the 10 percent is taken over by this insert insert statement and then you can click on this and you will start getting more details about this query what are the uh, weight events that that are happening at that time let's say yeah let's keep it here only so it actually carry forwarded whatever we have selected on the main page and you can see and, and that this query uh, has uh, so there is a overlap between the previous one so let me move it a little bit and uh, at the time only six queries are running and you can see which one is actually causing uh, the weight events uh, so this this is data file init write which is related to io uh, for, for writing the uh, data into the database again hw contents is also a major concern here it, it, it need not be major concern so it will give all the details about the weight events in this case most of these weight events are not uh, uh, that bad um, but i will talk about the weight, um, weight events uh, in the rest of the videos and i will come up with the workarounds but this is how you can actually navigate through and start troubleshooting the issues and also once you select the query if you want to uh, see the statistics about how your query ran you can click on this this query um, ran for almost 261 seconds which is elapsed time which means around 4 minutes out of which 176 seconds is uh, a CPU time and wait time is 85 seconds and most of the time is taken care um, taken to run the SQL query and uh, also it gives a lot of details about uh, how many executions it, it have done it have 347,000 executions, it has uh, uh, 10 million buffer gets, it has uh, 3.4 million rows, etc. Okay, so you can actually uh, go through uh, this information to understand more about how uh, your query have performed while executing. This is the most relevant information uh, uh, which comes handy in uh, troubleshooting the issues. Running the explain plans might uh, help you to come up with uh, appropriate design of your tables indexes etc but uh, to actually understand how it is performing this is the most appropriate place which can give you 
uh, all the necessary information in uh, uh, readable format with with, uh, with uh, appropriate visualizations if you want to see the plan of the query here you will see the execution plan of the query not the explained plan of the query and uh, you can expand this one sorry you have to choose the table i think not the graph graph is not working and this is the explained plan or execution plan which is used for this query this is a plain insert statement which i have ran uh, um, 3 million times using uh, sql loader you don't need to worry about that at this time and uh, then you can click on plan control and uh, you can actually uh, try to play with the plans of the given query which i will be covering elsewhere but just try to understand how you can leverage this um, um, uh, Oracle Enterprise Manager to get insights about what is going on. You can also click on SQL worksheet and run the SQL queries directly here. You can schedule a SQL tuning advisor. Uh, you can also run AWR reports directly from this. I am going to the cluster database again and then click on uh, uh, top activity. And if you want to run AWR report, I think you have to go to the previous page. And here, there will be a link for AWR. Yeah, which is called a snapshots. So you can actually click on this and generate the snapshot or use the existing snapshot to understand what have happened at the time of the query. Again, all these things will be covered elsewhere for now just uh, i have demonstrated how you can use oracle enterprise manager performance tab to actually uh, watch what is going on uh, the database live and uh, help uh, uh, understanding the issues and then you have to use uh, uh, different uh, 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 resources to actually fine tune the performance to fix the issue permanently that being said i hope you are enjoying the content on my channel if you like this video please use the uh, please click the like button if you have a feedback or if you want to ask any technical questions please use the comment section of the video and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time thank you bye